is in you. Because like sometimes when I probably touch my legs, this is like you want to reach out. It's just, yeah. Just, you fall into a trance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, can I, is it okay to just keep talking a second? Yeah. <laughs> so I was really interested in, and it happened by accident, I realised my spirit was going when I worship, and all of you guys' spirits, yeah, are going when you worship, you're interfacing with the Lord, you feel the Lord, yeah? yeah. And then your mind will wander, but maybe your spirit's still there. That's called your will. So your will's going, mm, I love you. Maybe you're worshipping in the house, but your brain's thinking about doing jobs. Yeah. And then your brain would move back in where your spirit is. And that's like a convergence where your mind and spirit are one, right? And that's what the intoxication helps with. The intoxication helps stop your mind from wandering. It just makes it rest with the spirit. So they come into convergence and oneness. But then I realised that like my body was was resisting, that my body wasn't going in the spirit. So I started to want to learn how do I how do I teleport? How do I move through molecules? How do I engage the record of my DNA and change it? And that's where I discovered that your body has to participate in the pleasure. Mm. Now, so far, most of you here would have had your mind participate in the pleasure when you've had a revelation. Your spirit participates in the pleasure when you're worshipping and you make a heart connection. But God wants to sanctify your body, soul and spirit. Which means he wants your body to participate in another dimension. The truth is, he has put eternity in your heart, yep. and he has already made you transdimensional. Yep. Yep. Your heart is your DNA. Five, only 5% five of your brain is in this dimension. 5% of your DNA, and 5% of your perception on a scientific level. The other 95% is to do with transdimensional realities, or gateways, or doors. The 95% that humans aren't using at the moment are connected to the spirit realm or other dimensions, higher dimensions of reality. God is looking to activate that. Now, Bob Jones prophesied some time ago that God was going to start to increase. Mm, yeah, yeah. Increase how much of our brains are going to be used. <laughs> that is starting to happen. I'm going to be, even after this, one of the places I'm going to where they've got a supercomputer that works on light and they've designed a nanotechnology, a new nanotechnology. But they got the revelation through visitations from the Lord and angels. And there are people right now being infused with knowledge, encoded with knowledge. And we're going to see people like really being encoded with other languages, yeah. intelligence. Like, you know, like the saints of old, like Bridget and the Celtic saints who just pick up instruments and be able to play them. Because yeah. we've got the mind of Christ. And you know, Roland Buck, he had those 2,000 verses burned into his heart, didn't they? Yeah. And 120 prophecies that were so accurate. And every one of them came to pass, just as he saw. Are you guys yeah. tracking with me? Yeah. 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 I'm actually mentioning you in like a, about intimate secrets here, you know, of how it works. I'm, I'm actually teaching you the science of the unseen right now. Mm. If you've got eyes to see and ears to hear what I'm saying. Mm. I'm giving you a methodology where he can teach you all things. Right. <laughs> I'm giving you a way where he will mentor you, and uh, they'll be able to say to you, you need no man teach you. Yeah. That's the order of Melchizedek expressing yeah. itself, and that's already yeah. begun. Mm -hmm. A lot of my podcasts and the teachings I have, I didn't learn them from people. I learned them from being absorbed in sinful union, in the prayer of the heart. Maybe God will move in a different way with you, and that's okay. So don't be concerned if that's not how it works for you. Okay? But 
this I found was one of the ways of changing your body <coughs> and your behaviours. Mm -hmm. So you could be encoded by the DNA in here. Oh, so I'd present oh. different elements of my personality that I wanted changed, triggers that I've inherited from genetics and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I present them and engage the record of his DNA. Ah, yes. And then I noticed a lot of change. A lot of change came to my thinking, to my body. Energy. Now, sometimes it's been so strong, what I'm talking about now. It may not be this time. I don't know how strong this is going to be for you. But I've not needed to eat. Because... I've eaten something that's so rich in energy, and sometimes it's lasted for days, where it's given me a supernatural strength and, and virtue that's not from the earth realm, where you're having to run just to burn it off and move because it's like energy, and sometimes that's lasted for days. In fact, you can actually get so full on a piece of communion. Sometimes This isn't a pressure thing. I'm not saying this is a works thing. But I'm just saying sometimes you'll so enjoy it, the deeper you enjoy it, the deeper it will engage you. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't engage you through just going through the motions. Mm. It engages you through the bliss of just eating yeah. Jesus. I mean, we're enjoying every bit that goes in your mouth, that you yeah. are eating God. You are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Father, thank you. Here is just bread. But as I engage the kingdom realm of my Father, as I move into it, just I want you to feel it. Just move it forwards. Move it through the bed. Then move it. Here is bread. There is the body. Of my Lord, it is the elixir of life. It is life and immortality. This contains a genetic encoding. See, if I could give you a pill, they're trying to find a pill to remove the damage in DNA. Okay? Because there's damage that's been encoded into you through epigenetics. They're trying to work on a pill that strips the protein molecule off the DNA to reboot it so it hasn't got any trauma on it. Now, if I invented that pill, or you did, would you take it? If you can remove trauma from your body. You would, wouldn't you? If, but why do we think science is superior to the unseen when we've already been given that pill? So, Father, I thank you that your body's alive. And as I eat this, it's going to work into my DNA, into my bone marrow. Yeah. And I'm going to have a different record, a different frequency. My body is going to begin to respond to the Spirit. So by faith in your goodness and your love, I will keep the feast. I can offer you nothing, but I can eat. I can drink. And I can receive. Just enjoy it, just gently. Mm. Just let a little... Mm. Mm. connect them together yeah. so that I can walk in these higher dimensions. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> you can do the same thing with a regular meal that you're eating. You don't even have to call it communion. What you do is you, you take it by faith into that realm. Yeah. That's what blessing food means. It means you, you bless it. <laughs> <laughs> the root meaning of blessing is the word to be made blissful. 
And uh, some translations of the Bible don't use the word blessing, they use the word bless because that's what it means. It means to be made blissful, to be blessed. So when you bless your food, what you're actually doing is you're moving it into another dimensional realm where you're moving it out of the record of death and decay into the record of life and immortality. You can do it. I'm not advising that you eat junk food, but you can do it with junk food. You can do it with junk food. <laughs> What's that? We appreciate that. You appreciate that? Well, personally, I love custard slices. You don't even know what that is. It's a, it's a vanilla custard in like a uh, rectangle. It's quite chunky with paste, little thin, fine, sweet pastry at the bottom. Napoleon. Sweet pastry at the top, but then like a thick layer of icing. Now I can tell you that is not from here. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is not from the earth, I can tell you. <laughs> See, I am getting so wild thinking about pumpkin pie. <laughs> See the difference between the striving and living in life? Yeah. Living in life is where you've been hijacked by joy. Uh, I, lo I, I love smelling babies' heads. Yeah. <laughs> you know when they're fresh? <laughs> There is so much glory on babies. They are not from here. They are not from here. Thank you, Jesus. Well. Well. There's this part of you called your will. Which is the inner part of you that can be feasting continually. So for me, I know it's strange, but I found that after I learned to engage God's presence, I, I would be making like a mmm sound. Just going about my daily business. It'd be like the sweet inner mmm. I call it purry. <laughs> One day I was praying and my wife went out of the house for the evening and I thought I'm going to pray but I kept putting it off, you know how you do, right? So the evening was going on and I was thinking my wife's going to come back and I haven't prayed, you know, it's like, you know, what am I going to do it all night? So it's nine o'clock and I, I thought I'm going to pray now and the Lord said, it's okay, it's okay, just said lie down. And for an hour and a half, he stroked me. Aww. Wave after wave after wave after wave of pure, undiluted grace. And while he did it, he, he spoke over me. Um, how does that verse go? It says, may the love of God and the... Oh, how does that verse go? I can't remember it. They do it as a benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. May the peace of God which passes all understanding. May the grace of God. That's it. May the grace of God. And the love of Christ. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And I realized that I was receiving that. Grace, love, and fellowship. And he stroked me like a cat. And I realized that 
cats aren't from here either. <laughs> 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 <laughs>